What's up, heathens? We're back again with another reaction video. We're going to be checking out Nightwish's The Islander. I've had a lot of people request that one, the, the live version that has um, Marco and Flora singing together on it. Um, I'm a big fan of the original song on the recording, but the live version, this is going to be um, something new for me, and I can't wait to see it. <clears throat> um... It's been a while since I've done some Nightwish because I sort of veered off and went down the floor rabbit hole and checked out some other bands she's been in and some other features that she's done for some other artists and even some of her solo stuff. So if this is your first time here to this channel, definitely you got a lot to go back and check out if, if you dig this one. Um, <clears throat> but if you're not new here, I appreciate you guys coming back and all of you guys, you know what to do on a reaction channel. Uh, jump in the comments section, let us know what you think. Drop some more recommendations, thumbs up, and subscribe are always greatly appreciated. Um, if you hear my AC howling in the background, that's just, dude, I live in Florida. It's it's always hot here, and I try to I try to leave it off when I do reactions, but I can't handle it. I'm sweating in my chair right now, so apologize for that in advance. But let's do this, the Islander. A gnome by a seashore at the end of day. This is the horizon where sea winds in his face. Tempest to silent, <clears throat> seasons all the same. Anchor urgent painted and a ship without a name. Sea without a shore for the vanished one on her. Light as the beacon light at the end of world. Showing their way, lighting. <laughs> he's got such a good voice he's got such a really really nice unique voice um i can't compare him to anybody and what a what a guitar he has here he's got a i've never seen a guitar like this before the electric or the the six string and the bass on it that's wild that's wild but um anyway <clears throat> Back to the song. Um, let me know what you guys think about the song. Do you think he's literally singing about a sailor? Or do you think it's uh, metaphorical for somebody who's just kind of at the end of their life and just kind of looking back at everything? They're kind of lonely now. They're old aged. And, you know, I don't know. Let me know your, what you think about them, what you think it's about. Let's back it up some. Eli jos mä soitaisin kertosekeen, niin te varmaan laulatte mukana. Laulatte? Oh. Let me know what he's saying too, if it's anything important. Okei, okay, sit se vedetään. This is for long forgotten Light at the end of the world Alright <clears throat> Such a good song. That's a really cool sound. I really love shows that have an extension that go out into the crowd like that. Like, um, a lot of you guys asked me to check out their show at Hellfest, and, um, I watched a little bit of one of the songs, and I'm, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I'm, I keep things 100 here, um, I, I had a hard time getting into it just because, um, I felt like the energy with the crowd and the band being so close to each other, it helps the energy so much more. And when a band is separated so much from the audience, I feel like it kind of kills that whole vibe. And that's and that's coming from me, somebody who appreciates live shows in the audience, but I've also played live shows as well. Like, I like being able to make eye contact with people in the audience and be able to connect with them, have that connection, look around at people and just be able to connect with that energy. But with it so far away, I feel like it affects the, the experience as an audience member, but also the being a musician who's trying to connect with the with the crowd 
Um, so I had a hard time getting into it. Um, they sounded great, but um, like the stage setup was broken down and it just felt like the energy was a little bit low. And I didn't want to give you guys a bum ass reaction where I just wasn't really into it. Um, so I, I know somebody will disagree with that and that's totally fine, but I, I got to be honest with you guys. So I did resort back to where everybody was suggesting the Islander. And so I might try it again. I might try Hellfest again another, another day, but I just couldn't get into the one that I started out. But back to the song anyway. But that's that was my point. Um, being able to be in the middle of the crowd like that and connect with it. That's that's it does so much. The albatross is flying, making him daydream. Time before he became when all the world's and see. Princess in the tower, children in the fields. Life gave him it. Again, guys, let me know if you think this is um, straight to the point lyrics or if you think that's just um, metaphorical for somebody who's possibly left a lot behind in their life um, or they've lost a lot or they had a lot of dreams that they didn't get accomplished and now it's their time to go or they're ready to go or maybe this is them dying of old age or maybe committing suicide. I don't know. I'm curious. I feel like there's a lot that could be... Um, said about the lyrics here um i have my own assumptions but i'd like to hear you guys opinion on it that sounds really cool there she is Is that, is that the new singer right there of the band? I've seen pictures of him. I haven't, I haven't, yeah, I think that's the new singer. Let me know. Let me know. He looks familiar. Ah, they're so good together. Killing it on the flute. Oh, yeah. And I really like what he's doing with the drums. He's got the shaker and he's got the the, the mallet on the snare instead. It sounds like a like it sounds more like a tribal drum than rather just a regular set. And it's totally fitting for this too. Killing it.
Damn. Goosebumps. <laughs> Definitely had goosebumps right there. That was such a good performance. Such a lovely singer. They're so good together. I hope somewhere in the future they find their way back into the band together again. Because they, they kill it together with the harmonies. And even with her not going all out, she's just so impressive. Like, she's just got the best vocals. And Marco, too, man. He so unique, dude. Nobody else sounds like him when he sings. Um, I've checked out some of his other side projects, too. Um, probably my favorite side project that he's in is uh, Northern Kings. Um, I know he's been in another one, but Northern Kings is such a fun band to listen to. Just the way they they put their own um, spin on covers. It's really cool. But guys, thanks so much for recommending this one to me. This has been one of my favorite songs by these guys for a long time. Um, the studio version was really good. But this one, just like, this version of it just blows it out of the water. For sure. <clears throat> so... Jump in the comments section. Again, let me know about the lyrics. Let me know what you think about um, your the interpretation, what you think it's about. Um, drop more recommendations. Um, I'm happy I got to do this one. And go and check out the other reactions if you're new here. I have I think I've got like three other Nightwish and then I've got a bunch of stuff that she's been a part of. Um, so definitely got time to kill with those. So thank you guys. I appreciate it. Thumbs up. Subscribe would be greatly appreciated. You guys take care. See you in the next one.